Hi everyone, we are back here in my ceramic studio, which is my backyard. Just goes to show you, no matter how tiny your space is, even if you just have a window sill, you can plant a plant that will bring wildlife right to your doorstep. Always miracles everywhere we look. So let's head to the art studio. Here's Tallulah. Come on, Tallulah. Let's make some art. So before we get started on your second assignment, I just want to share something with you. This is our first assignment here, the pinch pot. It has dried a little bit. See, it's not, it's not totally dry, but it's not totally wet either. We call this phase leather hard. At this point, if I really, really wanted to, although I don't recommend it, I could still make some slight changes. So let's say I was unhappy with something and I wanted to kind of scrape off. You can see that I can scrape off some slivers and if it cracked, I could spray it with water or fill it with water and still maybe fix it. It's not too late at this point. Once it totally dries, it's too late. Now, you can kind of do this and sort of smooth things in this leather hard phase. And that's about it. I want to just let you guys know that once it's super dry, um, you can still scrape away at it when it's totally dry, but that's a bad idea. The um, worst part about clay is not the mess that it creates when it's wet and gooey. It's when it dries, it can turn into a fine dust, and you don't want to breathe that dust. So I don't recommend um, messing with your piece after it's dry. Um, once it's dry, leave it alone and keep that dust, um, you know, clean off the, the dust off your board outside. And um, if you get a lot of clay that you need to wash off of something, do it with your hose. You don't want a ton of clay going down your drain. It could clog your drain. Just a little bit, washing your hands is fine, but just be aware, don't overdo it. So let's say I'm not done with this piece. Let's say I've got something to do and I want to work on it later. So what you would do is take either spray bottle and spritz it, or you can just take your cup of water if you don't have a spray bottle and flick water on it and just get it all around wet. And then take a plastic bag, put it inside your plastic bag, and then you can twist it around and put it on top to keep it dry, or even better, use a rubber band. If it's sealed, your piece is going to be exactly the way you left it when you come back. If it's not sealed, it's going to get hard and dry. If it does get too hard, spritz it, wet it down again, seal it up again, and then come back the next day and it may be soft again. Then you could even put all your tools and everything on your tray and just pick up your tray and have a place where you can store it um, so that you can get it out of the way of the table until you're ready to work on it again. So those are just some practical tips for you.